Hi, how you doing? This video is entirely prompted by a conversation I had the other day with a good friend of mine, and I'm willing to bet it's a conversation a lot of you have had too. It went a bit like this. You've done BJJ before. You should come back to training. They're a lovely group. Yeah, I guess I should, but I really need to get in shape a bit before I start training again. I guess you're all familiar with the concept. The idea that someone can't come training because they're out of shape. I mean, isn't that kind of the whole point of training? To help you get back in shape? I mean, yeah, it's about fighting first and foremost, but seriously, you aren't going to exercise because you really need to exercise. I'd say that that's the very best reason to exercise, you know? If you were sitting there looking like Alan Richson from Reacher, I could understand you maybe turning down an opportunity to do some exercise. But if you look anything like I did when I started BJJ properly a couple of years back, then you have absolutely no reason to decline what is, let's face it, a damn good workout with a lot of other benefits. I mean, obviously that's not completely true. There are lots of reasons not to train BJJ. Maybe you've got an infective skin condition. Maybe your leg's currently broken. Perhaps you've just been diagnosed with exercise-induced angina. That kind of thing. But not coming along because you definitely need to exercise. No. Just no. It's fun. It helps you get better at fighting. It's a great way to make new friends and become part of a community. And it's a really good, proven way to get in shape. So, if you'll pardon the really quite obvious and slightly offensive play on words, let's get that ball rolling. Especially if you're one of the people that used to do it and then dropped out. You almost certainly had a good reason to stop, but do you want to be the person who used to train or do you want to be the person who had to take a break, but still training? Don't lie to yourself. It's not that you need to get in shape. It's that you're scared you'll turn up and do really badly and feel like an idiot. I'll let you into a secret. However fit you are, you're going to do really badly and feel like an idiot. Even when you've been doing it for ages, there will be times when you do really badly. When everyone you roll with beats the crap out of you. That's part and parcel of it. It's kind of the way it goes. They say when you roll, you either win or learn. And sometimes you'll find yourself on a really long learning streak. But take it from a man who is now 11 kilos, 24 pounds down. You don't need to get fit first. You don't need to lose weight before starting. Those things will happen to you whether you want them to or not. So put the cookies down, get your ass off the sofa, and get down to training. You won't regret it. Am I right? Stick something in the comments, let me know. And definitely subscribe this time. And to those of you still here, at the very end of this very short video, Fight Team!